What's up, guys? And welcome to another podcast. Hand clap for that. Episode two, guys. I hope you guys are doing very, very well today. We're going to get into uh, a lot of stuff. Now, not necessarily the the conspiracy stuff. We're going to shy away from that because I love that stuff. Absolutely love conspiracy theories. But this is no conspiracy, guys. This is actually not good at all. And, and I don't even like to talk about this type of stuff because I think it puts a damper on crypto. The sentiment. It's already pretty bad. But we have to talk about the SEC. The SEC is going crazy. Now, let's go and look at the market before we get into the Coinbase situation because it's kind of dire. Uh, I think uh, they have a plan. I think the CEO has a plan. And uh, he's already moving Algorand, guys. If you have Algorand, you cannot get rewards. And, and this kind of sucks because I've been using that protocol getting those rewards for some time now and uh i know it kind of dwindled down uh, to like a bi-weekly situation and uh, the rewards were a little slower than i was used to but I, you know at least i got to enjoy it and hopefully you got that news guys no more uh awards for algorand and um you know it's kind of it's very very sad i, I got a little sad I, I almost cried you know but i mean if you like algorand you probably did almost <laughs> drop it here because this is something that we didn't want to hear we definitely did not want to uh, uh, see this type of thing happening with Coinbase. It is a major off-ramp, and I think this is what the government is doing. They're actually targeting the off-ramps, the, the, the wide, widely used uh, uh, off-ramps. I know Bittrex was actually, uh, it was one that I was using too as well. I can't use that anymore. I can't use Binance. I'm in Texas, all right? So, and if they if they tackle Coinbase, if they, if they really wrangle that in, well, I don't, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Because that is a major offer. Let's go ahead and get into a Bitcoin news. Major correction, but we did go up a little bit, guys. We're, we're actually just under $28,000 for the Bitcoin. And as you already know, guys, it, it, it corrected uh, it, like we knew it. Everybody should have known that Bitcoin was going to correct. Uh, we knew where the money was coming from, but it's going to go higher, guys. You, you just think just think about what's actually happening in crypto with the SEC attacking crypto, literally telling people who are wanting to buy out these banks that have failed, you can't have crypto guys. You, you wanna come and buy these banks? You can't be dealing with crypto. And this is pretty evident. This is very, 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 very out there, guys. This is clear what's going on. And uh, uh, Bitcoin did recover, guys, quite well from the dump, I guess you would say, from the uh, the, the fearful dump. Uh, we're seeing at 28, and it's not bad, uh, up 0.63%. And uh, the dominance is still 46. It kind of went down just a little bit. Ethereum, $1,700, almost $1,800. So I, if you guys actually have looked at Ethereum, it actually did pump pretty hard uh, it was uh 1700 actually uh 1753 i believe and we're talking to 23rd here guys we're looking at almost an 1800 ethereum situation hand clap for that man that's, that's pretty decent right you know i think it's pretty cool i think it's pretty cool uh, this is what we want this is what we need and uh this is kind of uh asymmetrical when you really think about it and you factor it into what bitcoin is doing uh th they're kind of you know slightly decoupled i guess i would say slightly uh, but you know the rest of them tether obviously a buck tether's got some issues let me tell you they need to get those reserves they need to get all that information ready to go because i think the sec that's next on the calendar so if they don't have those reserves ready to go they're in trouble. They need proof. Um, they're very, very concealed when it comes to uh, if they're really back in that particular stable coin correctly. All right. We've seen what happened with Paxos. I think uh, the same thing is about to happen. USDT. The probe is about to go deep. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. You know, BNB. Now, three hundred and twenty eight dollars for your BNB situation. And this is what we're here. This is what we're seeing here. Uh, a decent uh, climb up from, and we're talking about the 23rd, guys. This is what we're talking about today. Now, if we bag back all the way to uh, the 22nd. Uh, obviously, we were sitting at around uh, $317. You're looking at uh, $328.36, actually climbing up 1.29% for the day. Uh, pretty decent for these three particular uh, situations that everybody's actually run into, guys, because there will be more bank failures upcoming. They're not telling you, but you should already know. This is going to happen, so just be mindful of that, guys. And now, hand clap for the three. BNB, Ethereum, Bitcoin. They're struggling, but you know what? They're making that climb, and I think they're going to be all right, guys. In fact, I know they're going to be all right. Now, let's get this article in. 23rd, guys, this is a fresh article. 
And now this is what the SEC is doing. They have issued an investor alert. Now, I don't know if you think this is strange. I don't know if you, you know, what you think about this. But guys, this is this is weird. Um, out of all the things that is happening overseas with Russia and China and that partnership, literal partnership where they embraced on TV uh, and basically said change is coming and we're going to lead it. This is what was said in that conversation. I don't know what that change is going to be, but it's going to affect the world. OK, the SEC is concentrated on crypto. The government is like, we don't give a, 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 a damn about what you guys are doing. We're going to attack crypto. This is weird. Uh, let's get into the headlines. Set issues, investor alerts, urging caution around crypto. Now, obviously, uh, most content creators that I know, that I watch, that are, are decent and, and very good creators, we always preach, do your own research. You should already know that, guys. We are, we're all men and women, grown men and women. Uh, we should already know how to use and, and deal with our money when, when it comes to cryptocurrency. Uh, we, we should already know this. But again, the SEC is intervening here. There were massive complaints last year when it comes to all those uh, rug pulls that we saw. You remember the Squid Game rug pull. You remember all the Suzuki, the all that crap that went down. We saw it play out. Those complaints. Uh, and don't forget Luna. And, and you know Luna is still actually pretty uh, well trending. Even and if you look at the Google Trends, and if you go back 12 months, Luna is still killing it it's crazy and it's it's not doing anything it's not gonna do anything and and don't want he's still carmen san diego he's still running you know what i'm saying they're gonna get that guy by the way but it's still training it's very strange the sec is like you know what let's go ahead and just issue this warning just to make it look good let's get into this warning because it's kind of weird the united states security and exchange commission has issued an investor alert urging caution around cryptocurrency Specifically, the regulator has cited digital assets that may not comply with various United States laws and called for investors to carefully consider their entry. Duh. I mean, seriously, like that, it, obviously, we need to do that. We already know that. Seasoned uh, cryptocurrency uh, investors, we know that we must practice great care with our money. We already know that we have to be very, very careful in this space. If you're new to the space, you might want to heed this warning because it may be uh, it may seem like a very, very safe playground, but it's not. You can lose everything just like that real quick. So let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, the news follows several lawsuits from the irregular, including the Tron founder, Justin Sun. We're going to get into the details of that as well. And various celebrity endorsees. We're talking Shaq. We're talking uh, uh, I, I even heard of uh, Justin Bieber. Maybe uh, in an uh, upcoming uh, class action, which is very, very uh, crazy. Uh, you have uh, uh, Tom Brady and his ex, or I don't know if they're divorced or not, uh, and his wife in general. Um, basically, uh, Shaq, I, I read an article where it said Shaq was actually hiding in his home when they were trying to serve him. Pay <laughs> when they were trying to serve him, like the paperwork, you know, serve him or whatever. He never came out of his house. But that, th that actual uh, uh, lawsuit against Shaq is pretty weak. I don't think that's going to go anywhere, but uh, you have a lot, man. I mean, a lot of people have already settled. I know uh, there was some recent stuff that I read about. Uh, I, I believe I can't remember the the, the actual um, um, celebrities, if you would, but a lot of them have settled. I know Soldier Boy, he had he's still trying to hold on to his choices. He hasn't forked over any money. I mean, it's it's very, very crazy when you read these complaints, guys. It's very, very crazy. And I, I will tell you this. They're coming. They're coming for the. Then they're very tactical. It's a very strategic launch. Uh, you know, the, the ones that are in the crosshairs, the platforms, the the celebrity endorsers. Uh, it's 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 very strategic. Let's continue on with this. Moreover, the official alerts speak on speculative and volatile natures of the actual crypto market. It also informs a recent action taken against the industry as a whole. So, everybody's in the crosshairs. But this is what it is. Now let's continue with the actual thickness of it because this, this warning is pretty broad. Additionally, this is a quote, all right? The only money you should put at risk with a speculative investment is money you can afford to lose, unquote. Now, this is coming from the set. They're just echoing what we as content creators have already said. We continue to say, most of us, to our viewers, to our subscribers, to people who are watching our, our, our presentations, our content, we stress that most of us do now the sec is basically echoing this situation again captain obvious moment everybody should know this let's continue 
Moreover, the SEC noted that the certain companies that, that offer crypto investments may not be complying with applicable laws, including federal security laws, unquote. We're gonna stop there and we're gonna segue to the uh, the Coinbase situation because we're gonna get into that. Now, pretty much everything but Bitcoin is considered a security when it comes to the SEC, the federal government, okay? Including all the way up to the top, Joe Biden as well. Uh, I have even read an article just recently that Joe was insinuating that Bitcoin may go proof of stake and they're kind of like um, wanting that. This is what they're wanting. Now I've always said, now you know what, I, I wasn't going to get into this, but let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to get into this conspiracy theory because I, I really think this is very, very true, okay? Listen, I really believe that Ethereum 2.0 was forced by the government. But here's the thing with Bitcoin, who do you go to? The, the actual creator is anonymous. We don't even know who created it. So it's kind of laughable, that whole notion. But this is what Joe was saying. This is what he's, the White House is pondering. The Fed is pondering. Can Bitcoin be proof of stake? I mean, can, can we make that happen? This is an actual conversation that's going on in Congress in, in within the, this, this little uh, federal uh, regulatory situation. This is really, really weird. And I, I don't know, is that possible? Let me know what you think about that, man. Is that possible? Could Bitcoin go proof of stake? I think crypto would crash and burn if it did, but you know, cause that's all we have. That's all we have. If you really think about it, Bitcoin is the last hope. It reminds me of the Star Wars uh, saga, you know, Obi-Wan, you're my, you're my only hope. Bitcoin is the only hope. If they take Bitcoin and, and remove it from its current status, proof of work, being a, in the, totally independent, you know what I'm saying? No issuer, guys. This thing is mine to craziest. It's not a security. They already said it was a commodity. If they try to convert this, that would be crazy. And I don't think it will happen, but let's go ahead and move on from that because again, that's my conspiracy situation. And you can tell me if I'm wrong about that, but I actually read that, okay? I, <laughs> I actually read that. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It's, it's preposterous. And I'm actually gonna continue reading that data because that article, because it's crazy. I can't believe that re even, I can't believe that is even an idea, a notion that uh, uh, let's, let's see if we can get Bitcoin to proof of stake. Come on, man. Let's go ahead and get to this because the Coinbase situation, I think this is nuts. But uh, I think the, the actual, uh, Mr. Brian Armstrong, he's very serious. He's taking it very seriously, all right? Uh, this is actually a tweet from him. Today, Coinbase received a Wells notice from the uh, SEC focused on staking and asset listing. A Wells notice typically proceeds in enforcement of action, period. He was basically telling the followers what's really going on with the situation what we're doing what we have to do here what is going to happen here this is he's, he's being very informative let's get into this details all right the securities and exchange commission recently issued a wells notice to crypto exchange coinbase which is one of the largest off-ramp on-ramp situations in uh the crypto world and i think this is why they're targeting it i really do guys i really believe in this fed coin that's coming and i think they're getting the uh kind of clearing the runway for this uh these uh, fed now payments whether it be a CBDC or what, that system is coming. The Fed coin that is coming. I don't know if it's going to be called a Fed coin, but it's coming, guys. Whatever it is, it is on the way. And you can see it's like Operation Clear the Runway. This is what's going on. They're getting everything out of the way so they can institute their situation. They want all the competition out of the country. This is pretty evident. It's very, very, very clear to me. The Securities Exchange Commission recently is issued issued this Wells notice, guys, to Coinbase. The agency has warned that the company uh, in question, which is Coinbase, of uh, potential federal laws that are being violated at this point in time. Now, I told you about Algorand. They actually stopped all the rewards. They have uh, basically delisted a lot of tokens, guys, recently. A lot of them were not reported. Um, uh, Coinbase has been cleaning house, if you would. They've been cleaning house, and uh, this is why. You know, you have Circle looking abroad, going into France, filing that paperwork to be basically accepted as a, a digital form of payment at USDC, trying to move USDC into the EU. They are there. I think I'm pretty sure they're going to that paperwork is going to be accepted. Circle is very smart. They're ahead of the game. Mr. Armstrong, I don't know if he's really ahead of the game, but I think he's got the gist of it. All right. Now, typically a Wales notice is a, a preceded a situation, uh, kind of like serving uh, you like the constable would serve you prior to a court proceeding. This is what this is, guys. Now, the CEO of the exchange, Brian Armstrong, took to Twitter to clarify that this SEC reviewed Coinbase's business in detail. Okay. 
a couple of years back, of course, obviously, we talked about that earlier, and approved everything going public. Now, this is before the platform blossomed. This is before it evolved into what it is now. Furthermore, in the S1 filing, Coinbase clearly explained its assets listing process. The same contained 57 references of staking. So this was already pre-discussed with the set, with the feds, all right, before they went public. The, 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 the federal government knew about staking. They knew about the 57 references towards the stake. They know about the listing process as well. This is what Armstrong is saying. What are you doing? We already had this discussion. You gave me the green light prior to the public release of the actual Coinbase. Stop. You told me everything was okay. What is the problem now? And I feel like Mr. Armstrong feels kind of blindsided. It's kind of a dishonest notice, if you will, because as we just heard, like I just read to you guys, the CEO and the feds, they had this talk, okay? He laid down the platform, he laid down the blueprint for Coinbase uh, for the future. I'm pretty sure he laid down a four or five year plan with the, to the federal government and everything was all good. They went public, it's been all good until recently, guys, because the SEC has gone wow. We're gonna get into Justin's son here in a little bit. Uh, again, let's continue with this. And we're gonna go back just a little bit because I want you guys to listen to this. Moreover, all right, the same contained 57 references to staking. I wanna reiterate that. They already discussed the staking platform that exists on Coinbase, which is going to be ripped apart, okay? It's unfortunate, but it's gonna be ripped apart, all right? The set gave them the okay, the thumbs up. But now all of a sudden, it's no good, all right? Here's a quote, guys, from uh, Mr. Armstrong. While we understand that this is all part of a journey to reform our financial system, we are right on with the law, confident in the facts, and welcome the opportunity for Coinbase, by extension, to broader crypto communities to get before a court and explain that we are legit. This is exactly basically what he's saying. They're ready. Okay. Now, I ask you, will they win this case? I don't know. Will they get fined to oblivion? I don't know. This is very strange to me how the feds have turned a new corner here. They've already approved everything that is going on with Coinbase months ago, prior to the release of the stock, okay? Prior to going public, everything was good. Now, hey, uh, Mr. Armstrong, uh, we see some problems with your staking. We see some problems with your listing process. Oh, and by the way, you have tons of securities on your platform. We need to talk. This is, it's, it's crazy, man. It's, it, it's, it's really ridiculous. And uh, you know where it's going. You know where we're going. Again, clearing that runway for the Fed coin, clearing that runway for uh, the mass adoption of the uh, central bank digital currency that's going to come out. The, the, the Fed now payments, that's already a go. That is 100% going on. It will be instituted within uh, government infrastructures as payment. This is, this is what we're doing, guys. Now, Let's get into the confidence level of Mr. Armstrong because this is very interesting too. Specifically, the Wells notice has steamed from the investigation that uh, was disclosed last summer. You remember the Coinbase investigation last summer. This is basically an extension of that. This is what uh, Mr. Armstrong is saying. Now, right after the investigation began, the SEC asked Coinbase if it would be interested in discussing a potential resolution that would include registering some portion of its business with the agency. Okay, quote unquote, registering as security. Essentially, Coinbase basically said, let's do it. Okay, so where is this coming from? Why the Wells notice after everything was good, after we've agreed to all of this, the security registration, basically that's what it is, guys, registering the platform with the agency. It's, you know, the, the Mr. Armstrong was like, you know, Brian Armstrong was like, let's do it. I have nothing to hide. Let's go. All right. In a blog post, Coinbase chief legal officer, Paul Grewal, clarified that uh, they met with the SEC more than 30 times over nine months. But you have to understand, and this is what uh, Paul was saying. It was only Coinbase that was actually communicating, talking. Uh, the SEC was not really responding, guys. Uh, it was kind of talking to someone with deaf ears. That had to be very, very crazy after everything was agreed on prior to the public launch. Let's go ahead and continue, all right? Uh, this actually happened in December of 2022. Uh, the company asked the SEC for some feedback on its proposals. They got nothing, absolutely nothing. So, what do we have here? We, we have a situation where the SEC has gone wow. The SEC has gone rogue. Uh, they basically reneged on uh, the uh, confirmations of the platform. Uh, they reneged on agreeing and then being okay with the staking platform. Uh, they're basically saying everything, this is security uh, when it comes to proof of stake. We know Coinbase is loaded with proof of stake uh, protocols. Okay. What does that lead? This is a huge offering. Okay. 
a lot of people use Coinbase. A lot of people, you know, besides Bittrex and, and, and BNB. Coinbase is up there, guys. Okay. Major off ramp and it's widely used. It's, it's, it's really easy to use as well. What does this lead to? Now, as we segue to the next sec gone wild situation, uh, they're attacking Tron, Justin Son. He's the CEO of Tron. Guys, you know Tron very well. Uh, this is a little different. Uh, we have fraud uh, charges and a market manipulation. This is actually uh, not good. The Coinbase situation can be remedied. I think uh, I'm not really worried about that. It's very strange though how they turn their back on, uh, the sec turned their back on Coinbase and uh, Brian Armstrong. This is different. Uh, we're talking fraud charges. We're talking market manipulation. This is not good. Now, let's get into uh, the uh, actual beginnings of this article, and we're going to read into the, the actual uh, bulk of it as well. Uh, the Securities and Exchange Commission has evidently been on a stringent journey uh, with its actions against cryptocurrency realm. Okay, uh, obviously. This is what we see, all right? The scrutiny by the regulators uh, began after the fall of FTX. That was very embarrassing for Mr. Gensler and that whole uh, sex situation. They, they That wasn't a blind side, okay? They thought they had control of that, and uh, Mr. Uh, SBF made them all look like fools. So now they're taking it out on crypto, guys. They're trying to crush it. They're trying to, and they're never going to be able to crush Bitcoin. It's not going to proof of stake. That is hilarious. I can't believe that I read that. I got to continue that. But let's move on with Mr. Trump because I think he's in a lot of trouble. If you disagree with me, let me know why you think he's not, because this is, they, I think they finally got this guy. Uh, the latest victim of the sex scrutiny is Tron founder Justin Sun. According to the latest details from the actual SEC, the commission has sued Sun for uh, allegations of sales uh, and airdrops of unregistered security. So we have a charge for selling and we have a charge for actually distributing. This is this is pretty big, guys, for for this uh, situation. Now, alongside fraud and marketing uh, manipulation, market manipulation, man, that's a lot. That's a lot, guys. I, you know, ew, that's a lot, man. I don't know if I. Mm, that's a lot. One more time. That you know. What do you think, man? Let's go ahead and read into it. And this is our actual Watch a Guru tweet here. Uh, Sexus Tron founder, Justin Sun, citing fraud and manipulation. This actually came out on the 22nd. Let's get into the lawsuit. The press released by the sex states that the case was brought on the grounds of the sale of TRX and BitTorrent. I didn't even know BitTorrent was still a thing. Uh, let's continue. Uh, which the commission described as unregistered securities. The commission also alleged that Sun conducted wash trading to manipulate TRX's secondary market. That is the manipulation of factor. Not good, guys. That charge alone is very heavy. Now, let's get into this actual quote from Gary Gensler. This is a very interesting quote. Uh, quote, this case demonstrates, again, the high risk investors face when crypto asset securities are offered and sold without proper disclosure. Unquote. This is where they're getting all the influencers, especially when it comes to being compensated for basically promoting a the security. They're getting you on that, plus being involved with the sale of the security. Uh, this is the disclosure part. I'm seeing this, you know, come up a lot. The disclosure factor. This is where they're getting everybody, and not just Mr. Sun. They got him on a lot of bad stuff here. And uh, as far as uh, Coinbase, that's remedy. That is a fixable situation. But this guy is in a bit of a trouble. Uh, he may even do jail time. If you if you think differently, let me know in the comments. But this is this is pretty heavy. Now here's another very interesting. And I told you guys are getting him on the disclosure factor. They got this dude. Oh, they got him hogtied, guys. Listen, this is a, a quote from the chief uh, enforcement officer of the uh, SEC. Okay, Mr. Grewal, he said basically, quote, Sun paid celebrities with millions of social media followers to tout the unregistered offerings while specifically directing that they do not disclose their compensation, guys, unquote. Oh. This, this is not good for uh, Mr. Sun. Okay, and I'm pretty sure a lot of those influencers rolled on him, you know, for probably not getting uh, fined or whatever. All you need is one. All you, all you need is one rat. Okay, it starts squeaking. That's it. That's it. They got him because he basically was basically telling these influencers, I'm going to give you some money and I want you to say what I want you to say, but don't you dare tell him that I gave you this money. Essentially, that's what he did to multiple influencers. He's done. I'm sorry. This guy is done. He's toast. And I can't wait to see how this goes because I, you know, I hear a lot of stuff about this guy and TRX is getting hit hard right now. And I, after reading this quote and the information that they have, you know, one of those influencers are going to step, they're going to step up and they're going to go to court. Okay. They're going for leniency. And, the, and basically if he told them, if this proof, they can prove this in the court of law that he was basically told, telling the influencers not to divulge what he was paying them. He's done. He's freaking done. D just forget about the other stuff up top. That alone, he's done. 
okay so and this is what's happening guys the set is gone wow <laughs> they have gone freaking ape shit when it comes to attacking crypto now i, I don't feel sorry for this guy at all i really don't he, he should know better than this and uh, they've been watching them for like a year i think they've been investigating this guy for maybe over a year so uh trx is in trouble tron is in trouble coinbase not so much you know they can always go offshore and handle business but i don't know if we'll be able to use that offer if they go offshore we, we may have that offer on block for our for american use which is that would be a bummer so you know i, I just hope that that doesn't happen guys but again as we close the podcast again thank you for uh coming to the podcast guys this is episode two we're gonna wrap it up and and, and i will say this guys just be mindful of the situation um and, he, and gary's right we have to be careful in this space. It's getting really, really crazy. Bitcoin is recovering from the uh, dump that we've seen previously. Keep your eyes uh, on uh, this situation with Mr. Sun because it's, it's very, very interesting. Very interesting. And with that, guys, take it easy, man. We'll see you on the next show.